Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Skyrim. All right, when we left off, we uh, were heading over here to Stony Hills, I believe it's called. Yeah, Stone Hills. Close enough. Uh, Rock Swallow Mine is right over here, so we're going to head in here and see what we can get out of it. Considering that the surrounding area had iron bars, I'm going to assume it's iron. So, I hopefully that's the case. And now it makes me feel like an asshole for not getting iron out of the other mine. <laughs> because I have no foresight whatsoever. Yeah. Eh, well, you know, you live and you learn about your own sensibilities and stupidity. Eventually. Sometimes. Well, sometimes not. Anyway, got iron out of that one. Get a iron out of this one, but first, the Orsinium and the Orcs, huh? Oh, huh. that's useless to me. I should check if there's any other smithing books that I have not picked up yet and read, but I'm pretty sure I've read all of them at this point. Because that would save me all of this trouble. But I'm not sure if there's ones that I haven't read yet. And I'd rather not look it up in the middle of the video and find I've been doing a wild goose chase this entire time. Because then it makes all this footage worthless. Hey, Amethyst! Oh, yay! That's always fun, finding more gems. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking for distractions at this point to just, you know, get away from the fact that I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> okay. Alright. Let's just finish this mine up. And we'll call it good. There we go. Well, at least here I don't have to worry about having my flame hands out. Because uh, there's no risk of explosions anymore. Yay! Woo, okay, I think I cleared this entire thing out. That was quick. That was actually rather quick. I'm surprised. Alright. I have a feeling that there's probably not anything nearby that I can forge with. And I have a feeling I need to figure out what I need for the other house first. Which includes corundum ingots, if I remember right. Uh, oh, that was really fast. Good lord. Uh, make all this up. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Yeah, there is nothing I can forge with over here. Uh, boy. I do think there was a tanning rack somewhere. I remember right. There was at one point. At least I remember that. And I might be wrong. I may be wrong on that. Yep. Yep. I'm wrong. I'm stupid. But at this point, it's to be expected of me. Ah, alright. I'm going to take these. Because these are useful. And, okay, I, I could have sworn I saw another mine, but I had to make sure. No, that was just a... Uh, yeah. A storm cloak camp. But. Huh. That's a weird feature I've never seen. This little one, this little thing here. I guess this is a. Or at least used to be a lake bed. But, uh. Yeah, that, that stopped. <laughs> that stopped a while back. I assume. What? What's that noise? Huh. Oh well, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna head over to Winstead because it's right over there. Figure why not? Kind of need to, you know, forge up the stuff that I have already. Let's see if we have any corundum around that house as well, because I think I left it all at the uh, main house, uh, Lakeview. But, I figure I might as well check, see if we have some corundum here. I may have left it here, you know, when I was building it up. 
Never know. Never know. You're phased right through the fence there, bub. You, uh, you should probably fix that. Because that does not look good for your internal organs. Alrighty. Let's, uh, see what we can do. Whoop, first. First, 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 first. I need the contents of this. I do have some corundum ingots. Awesome. Alright, and I do have a lot of iron ore, too. Wish I knew that before I started mining it. Anyway. I'll take that. All of that. There we go. And some of this. There we go. And, yeah. I think that should be good. I should be good on that. Uh... I need to make sure that there's things in the house I need to make. And we'll also pick these up, because we're right here. And Bleeding Crown. And let's plant another one, because I got some Bleeding Crown in one of the other mines that I went into. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Let's go inside and see what things I need to create. I think they're all in the basement that I still need to make. Like chests and whatnot. So I need to make a couple locks for those. Probably. I trust you're not planning any trouble. Booth card. I, I own this house. Calm yourself. Please. Alright, let's go down here. And get the thing done that we're supposed to be doing. Because <laughs> I keep andering. Oh, that was quick. I was not expecting that. I was in the middle of drinking my soda. <laughs> okay. I think I have to make the stuff with this first. That helps, usually. Alright, uh, make a couple locks. Uh, make six. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Um, make a few hinges and iron fittings. And for backup, a couple nails. Won't hurt. There we go. Should be just fine now. Should be just fine. Alright. And that doesn't help. I need glass. Uh, for that. Anyway. Let's see. I can make some weapon plaques. It doesn't mean much down here, but I can make them. Yeah. That's the thing I can do. See what else we can make. Need goat horns for those. Which I don't have currently. I think they're all at the actual good house. Uh, let's just make the chests. Because we've already come this far. There we go. And we'll definitely need to go back to our house and see if we have those chests at home. Because if we don't, I can just make them there. And justify all the locks I just made. Hopefully. Alright, yep, yeah, we're good. Uh, let's see if we can boost some of this any. Nope, can't do these because we don't have enough skill to do that. Uh, I could do the ebony dagger that I have. Yeah, that one. And make it legendary so it'll sell for more. That's always good. That's always a good idea. And we're actually pretty far along. Holy shit. Didn't realize how close I am now. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder. If I get some dwarven metal, would that put me over the top if I make another suit of armor for another person? I wonder. Hmm. Well, you should. Considering. Alright. Considering I got this place done. Mind you, it was through her help. But, nonetheless. Alrighty. I have to figure out another plan. Because I'm really close towards the last bit. And I think I may have just thought of it. I think I may have just thought of a plan that I can't believe I didn't think of before. 
because it's a pretty good one. It's a pretty damn good one. Uh, it's over near White Run. Simmer Miss Cove is not it. It's close to this. Not this. Uh, close to this, rather. And Dustman's Cairn is actually pretty close, too. Uh, Bleakwind Basin. We'll do it that way. And uh, there's a particular place that has a particular spell that I can use to transmute iron to gold. Which would be very useful. Whoa! Okay. Game. Glitch that out a bit. I guess. <laughs> That's fine. Why not? I guess. Okay, we have to head this away a bit. A little bit. Just a ways. It's not too far, I want to say. Oh, that, that's the thing I can do. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. I can summon Arvac. And have him carry me where I need to go. Perfect. And there we go. Nice. It's right over there. That little... I think that's it, anyway. I hope it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is it. Because, uh, that has the little cave. And it has to phase in. There it goes. <laughs> has to phase in, yep, the walls as well. Yep, I know that for a fact that is the correct one. Alright. Now that we know. Okay. Can I pop the fireball back on? There we go. And... This guy seems to be sitting at the wall. Arvac. Arvac, buddy. You're kind of in my way. And, and there he goes. Finally. <laughs> I'm starting to get annoying. Ah, fire breath. That'll work. Okay. T managed to block all of that. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, we'll take you down. That did not take much effort. And this guy shouldn't be much effort either. There he goes. <laughs> Goodbye. And the guy up here. Bandit, rather. Should rather not say guy. This could be a woman, for all I know. That's something I need to break myself up. Alright, there we go. And, yeah, I figured I picked up an iron arrow from being shot in my face. Hello. Oh, that's a highwayman. And you're gone. <laughs> Did not take much at all. Alright. Well, not as much as it usually does. I think all my enchantments are really stronger than they should be. At this point. I kind of gamed the system a little bit. So, uh, it's not a complete surprise that I managed to get as good as I am. Where'd the other body go? Oh, there you are. You're... <laughs> You're on the ground, so I didn't even notice that you're dead. Because you suck. Okay. Go in here. And this one has the spell. Alright. The Halted Stream Camp. That's the one we need to go to. I'm gonna drink my soda real quick. Finish that off. Nice. Skyrim's nice in that I can do that. In the middle of recording. <laughs> Because the loading times are ridiculous. Alright, that will end up doing that for no reason. I wasn't even touching it, as you saw. Oh, for crying out loud. Well, at least I can touch it again and it won't fuck things up. He needs some skooma, apparently. This guy over here. I don't have any other thing that can not kill him, so time to go with explosions. And I did one too many. <laughs> Oopsie doodle. But uh 
Hey, at least I know. And I could use this iron, at least. There's always that. Because that iron I need for the thing. You'll see. You'll see. I'm not, I'm not joking. This is good stuff. There we go. Perfect. Ow. I wasn't even next to you. And you went off. I swear, traps today just do not want to function as intended. Alrighty. Ooh, sapphire. Nice. Perfect. Alrighty. And get that. And it should not be long until we're actually in the middle of a bigger fight. Because, if I remember correctly, the end of this entire place has... Oh, I'm stuck in... <laughs> I'm stuck in Crouch. I think this guy has a key. So I don't even need to do that. Yeah, this guy has a... This guy has the key. But I kind of want the XP, because why not? right there and there perfect cool beans can we find any of the uh, fungus that I need that one thing ah uh -huh. we can at least one of them anyway might be more but I'm not willing to spend all the time looking okay Let's get this one real quick because like I said this all helps out at the end because I can change this all into gold and that boosts up my smithing quite a bit. Quite a fuck ton, I might say, even. Alright. Down there. Means we can go down. Yep, that's not the stuff I need. The rest of it I will mine later. I will get this, though, because I will forget later on. Alright. And there's the big bad chief over here and we got a couple of these guys over here that I could probably sneak to sneak around backs to cut through all that fat hurry up with it we got a merchant in the pit to take care of after we carve this thing up oh they're talking about the mammoth because I can see the tusks from here alrighty and with the explosion it should light all the gas that's next to them and go boom. Ha <laughs> perfect. Although I wasted all of that before the chief came in. And of course he's running through the fire, because he's stupid. Alrighty. Yeah, let's end something, alright. It's not a game, more like your life. And down you go. Ha <laughs> ha! Perfect. That was perfect. Could have gone worse, but it went perfectly. Alrighty. Now let's pop that, because why not? Alrighty. Poacher's Axe. And it should have... Yeah. There we go. Transmute Mineral Ore. I'll also take that draw to Strength and the Coin Purse, because I earned it as far as I'm concerned. Alright. Iron Ore. Take that. The Silver Ore. And we got some Corundum. Nice. And let's check the chest, because why not? We're already here. Dwindling fire. That is a lot of value. I'll take that. Because that is good. We got we got potion of defender and strength. Got a few more iron ores. Alright. Anything else? Cake in the diamond. Nope. Okay. Nothing else that is of value. <laughs> My throat's cracking and dying. And I have a feeling this will cause a trap to go down if I... Nope. Okay. Nice. I avoided the trap. And I will uh, probably cut all the mining out. <laughs> to be perfectly honest. At this point on, I'll cut the mining out. Because I want to show you the end result. Which should be soon. So, see you in a bit.
Alrighty, I figured I'd show you a little early that uh, the spell is working. <laughs> because we have silver ore. It first transmutes iron to silver, and then silver to gold. Because, you know, you can aim for silver if you want. But, uh, we're going to aim for gold in this particular time, so... There we go. And we can do one more, which converts an iron. At least it should have. No, it didn't. I did a little too fast. That's my fault. But, yes, it's working as intended. Converts the iron to silver, and then silver to gold. And then, once you get to gold, you can just smelt it down. And make it into whatever you want. Or you can aim for silver and smelt that down. And aim for whatever you want. It, it, it all works the same. So, this is the best way to get the spell on its own. And it's relatively close to the starting area. So... That's a little pro tip for you, I guess. Uh, why I didn't pick it up till now, I don't know. I never considered it part of the itinerary, I guess, until just now when I needed it the most. So, there we are. We have that out of the way. We just need to get all the gold smelted down, and then I will show you the shiny new weapon that comes from having the perk. So... I'm going to end the episode here for right now because it'll be mainly me just mining out all this iron, converting it to gold, and making that into whatever I want. So, it'll end up being pretty boring after about five minutes of it. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more, and click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games for you.